With winter weather raging on many in the region, uh, they're seeking help with heating and ventilation. Yeah, News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley spoke with some professionals on the increased need for those HVAC services. The Frigid Air has put plumbing and heating and air companies in full gear responding to calls. Owner of Phil's Heating and Air, Phil Allen, has been responding to calls with his workers, helping them keep up with customer demands. He says a lot of problems come from a lack of heater maintenance. A lot of people will have electrical issues with their electric heat on their heat pump and they won't know it. And then we can usually find that during the preventive maintenance time. So, it, you know, it would... It would be ideal to sort of get that done a couple of times a year. It would help out a lot with reducing service calls for people. Allen says it's best to do maintenance checks twice a year, once before the winter and once before the summer. And that people really need to make sure that they're changing their filters all year round and keeping an eye on them. Otherwise, they're going to be paying a lot more for their power bill because it makes the system work harder. Tommy's Plumbing has been getting a steady stream of calls in since the Arctic blast hit the area. Lead tech Chris Turner says to drip your faucets on hot water as a precaution. The reason why I say hot is because as soon as you draw hot water from your water heater, cold water is being dropped into the tank. So not only is cold water being ran, but also hot. So that means all the pipes are actually got water movement, which will prevent freezing. Other things to do to prevent your pipes from bursting are to cover outside host spigots and to make sure your crawl spaces are covered to keep in heat. Any unheated area uh, in your home that has water pipes, you want to make sure that the pipes are well insulated. Um, for one, you have thermal loss, uh, which you're going to spend more money heating your pipes up by running the water. For News Channel 11, I'm Clarice Shaley.